JK Calloway here. Welcome to my reactions for Barry. Season three is quickly approaching. It's gonna be April 24th, and that's a show we originally did on Patreon for our $5 patrons. Patreon.com forward slash JK Reacts. So, being that season three is coming, I think we should all share in the fun, including YouTube. So we're taking the first two seasons, we're gonna chop them up, put them on YouTube, two episodes a week until we're caught up, and the math works out that that's gonna be right before season three starts, so yeah. Hopefully everyone enjoys this show. This show is awesome. Bill Hader's an absolute killer, literally, but seriously, this show is brilliant. It's so much fun. Henry Winkler's in it. It's, br it's one of my favorites going on right now. So yeah, the next coming weeks, we'll chop up two episodes a week, put them on, on Mondays, because when season three starts, we'll do the same for that. Season three will be on YouTube on Mondays, plus of course, Patreon for the full reactions. But the first two seasons are already all posted over at Patreon if you want to check them out. But yeah, we're we'll chopping them up so we can all enjoy it on YouTube, have good conversations, talk about how awesome Bill Hader is, and did anyone think he could do this? <laughs> He's a great voice guy. I love voices, but I, I, I didn't see that. <laughs> so yeah, give us a subscribe if you haven't yet, like the video, enjoy the shows, and when season three starts, we'll be here for it. Well, yeah, let's jump into it. Barry. Hey everybody, J.K. Calloway here, jumping back into our patron exclusive reactions for Barry. Season 1, Episode 5. Up to Episode 5 already. <laughs> it's called Do Your Job, which is, yeah, that's kind of where we left off, was ultimatum, like, here's what you're going to do, you're going to work for the Chechens. Chechens. Chech Chechnians. I'm a talker. And while that's going on, the acting class coach is trying to date the head detective of the murderer. <laughs> All right, you weird fucking dude. And very quickly, uh, as quickly as it started with uh, Barry and Sally, uh, more, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, she's she's not in a place to, to be claimed, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, and it was a bad read on his part, uh, you know, just, a couple of friendly people hooking up and he took it to mean oh that's my girl now we're gonna live happily ever after and that's not where she is so uh, yeah we'll see what happens with that because that's like I mean four episodes in and it's just you know, like I don't know if that's gonna be a thing in the future but we'll see first let's get back into Barry episode five do your job let's see what's next because it keeps on yeah it's excellent I love it so far the Taylor guy, what's, uh, what's, what's his deal? Honestly? I don't fucking know. Yeah, we were, uh, we were at this bar hanging one time and this guy spilled a drink on my leg and Taylor broke the dude's jaw. Yeah, solid. Let's do it. Thank you, guys. Okay. Oh, now, big smiles. You look so great. Stop it. Uh, stop putting that on people. I know it's hard, but... Can we reset, maybe? Like, um, can we take you to dinner and, I don't know, we can go to a aqua park? Or... or we could try not speaking to each other for a couple days or, like, even, say, a month or two and reset that way. Look, this <laughs> is the best photo that we can do. So, if any of you have any idea who this that is, that looks worse than what they showed in the, the last episode. The Be on the lookout for a man with no discernible features. He killed your friend. <laughs> and, uh, detective, I went and had dinner with Frank Ewing uh, from our corporate office in Texas. No, Frank and I went and had uh, drinks with a guy from a manufacturing plant, Ramon Diaz. How are they organized? Perfect. Hi, Mr. Ewing. Can you hold on a sec? Uh, I'm on the factory floor. Hey, Larry! Take care of Dave. What? Go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Ewing. Bye-bye.
This is from all. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be bad. Me see through them all. There's a marine named Taylor. He knows about the hit. He wants in. It's probably crazy. I drive in parameters. So you and Ooh. Wacko do the hit. We do. Yeah. And then afterwards, you take him out. He's a marine. <laughs> I don't fucking care who he is. He knows too much. He has to go. So what? We just take out whoever threatens us. That's toxic masculinity. The fuck is that? It, it doesn't matter. It, it's it's not what we do, okay? We take out bad dudes. He could get us busted or killed. He'd get all your little actor friends killed. He could. God, the fuck is Taylor that? has to die. Look at all the shit and on you here. you know that. Damn. He's a murderer. No, he was following orders. Sometimes you just have to shut up and do your job. Yeah, but doesn't Macbeth have free will? Yeah. Macbeth is a murderer. Yeah, well, then I guess so am I. Right? I mean, I've killed people. Wait, I, I should just go blow my brains out. Because there's no hope for me, right? My soul's fucked because I was ordered to kill someone and I did it. It's really easy for you guys to sit here and weigh in on some shit that you don't know about. But it's, um, it's fucking lame. And, it, and it's not true. And I want to say on behalf of the rest of the class, boy, I'll tell you, thank you for your service. <laughs> really. If you kill outside of war, you're a fucking psycho. I mean, then you're irredeemable. Am I right? Yes, you're right. All right, let's take a tight God five. <laughs> Oh, Siren returns. Oh, we're going right into it, okay? Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll make entry. You know, it's just us going in there. No airstrike, no backup, no nothing. It's, it's just you and I. It's going to be a party. It's not really a party time. There's a good chance we'll die. Fuck yeah. It's not really a high five situation. been torturing people in here. Dead without him. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Hurry. You are the man. You are the fuck. Tell me you're the man. This time you are the fucking man. I thought you were dead for sure, but look at you. You are. Corn's gonna be so happy. I, I know. No loose sense, huh? What's up? Fuchs, Taylor, Taylor, Fuchs. Hey, Amen. Let him live. I mean, I get it. Yeah, you know, like he'd be dead without Taylor there. Like he would have died. He would have been killed. Like I'm shocked he wasn't killed. Like how do you knock someone out in the middle of a firefight, and then you think, okay, I'm good. Like what? Well, that's gonna have some fucking ramifications. Shit, man. Do they just bring him into the team? Do they... I have no idea. The dude's a... <laughs> but he's good. Like, he clearly took care of it. I don't think he could bring him on a regular old hit. When you're trying to not be noticed. Because, I mean, dude was okay with being noticed. <laughs> but that was a different situation. That wasn't just like a hit. That was like, you know, anyone who would see you is a target so it doesn't just just go so different situation but 
who knows, you know, we don't know his background. He could end up being interesting and cool. Right now he's pretty one note, but he lived through it. So we'll find out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> wow, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of the episode. We'll jump into episode six here in a bit. And uh, all right, fuck dude. We'll talk to you next time.